if you help them trip us up, you are the right hand of white supremacy. And as a motherfucking man, my nigga, you went on that goddamn show with the with the other bitches that are destroying the goddamn uh fucking black man. And you are you not no black man, my nigga. You a fucking coon. I don't even fucking use that word, but that's what the fuck you are. Cause you helping them. I was go help your boss. I was help you run them down. Yes, it did. Show sure did, sir. Yes, yeah. Uh, three of them girls. Yes, it did, sir. I seen them myself, sir. Yes, sir. I seen them. Yes, sir. You you want me to fetch you some water, sir? Yes, sir. Oh, Kelly gonna get in a whole heap of trouble. A whole heap of trouble. It's not letting me. Can you see that shit on the side of his mouth? Can you see this shit, dog? Do you see how this motherfucker look on TV? You got white shit in the corner. Like you not, you not aware. Nobody on the sideline. Like, oh, yo, no, hold on, stop that tape, stop that tape. No, hold on. That's see, and that's what I'm trying to tell you. Imagine how many people that love him, family members. Tried to tell him before it got this fucking bad. Hey man, you need to slow down. But that's why I, I I'm not indirect when I talk to a motherfucker. Because when you tell me, hey, you need to slow down. What you really mean is, hey my nigga, stop fucking whatever dope you doing, dog. Stop doing dope altogether. Whatever you doing, stop it. Because my nigga, you around this bitch looking like a fucking junkie. That was before this shit happened. They, we only see these motherfuckers when they want us to see them most times. You know, sometimes. Try and make a name. Ain't got the discipline to play a lane. Now you doing missions, try and play the game. You either learn from your mistakes or you stay the same. Damn shame, laying on a horn on a wood grain. While a DA got the shooter on a statement, I asked who was keeping it real and who was taking. Feet planted, you took a charge on you flagrant. Foul in the way you move, come as a bitch and I smell. Cause Hey, look here. Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I'm Ayo Canseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation. And this is, are you fucking serious? Let's do it just like this. If you are a successful man, if you're on your way to the top, then you cannot rally against, you cannot be with this surviving R. Kelly shit. Since the inception of this Me Too movement, there has been no motherfucking women that have had no one. No woman has had her life stripped away, her, her wealth, her, her um, achievement stripped away. It's only been men. It's only been men. This isn't by chance. This is not a fucking coincidence. This is by design. This is by design. You look at the men that have been tarnished and fucked over. What's the similarity? So we, so nobody can't blame me in that racism shit. What's the similarity? Harvey Weinstein, uh, C.K. Lewis, Kevin Spacey. Ty, by by way of Tyreek Nasheed, Harvey Weinstein just got another one of his cases secretly fucking dismissed. Kevin Spacey was just arrested and bonded out, and see, and we know what the fuck going on with C.K. Like dog, we are being fucking hunted out this bitch. Hunted. This ain't no time. And then. As if on cue. You throw. The R. Kelly shit. Comes out of nowhere right. This is not playing right. But just as soon as everybody got. Oh, R. Kelly surviving R. Kelly. Ah. I want to know when that shit was shot. How long has Charlemagne known that this shit was coming out? I want to know, like, how how long ago was this shot? Because if it was over a year, that it should be no question in anyone's mind that this whole fucking entertainment and judicial system is working together. As soon as you start shooting, bitches want to start calling this shit. That shit's retarded. Look, January 22nd, 6 p.m., I'll be going live for the first time on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, get over there. I said I was going to do it this year. So we doing this shit. 
Um, I'm speaking to AO Nation. Y'all know what the fuck going on. Um, the AO Nation donation conversation. We have that every other Sunday. I shout y'all out when y'all donate and shit like that. But we doing more at this fucking point in time because y'all know YouTube don't pay shit. You know what I'm saying? NBA 2K and stole my goddamn shirts and shit like that. You can see that shit on YouTube. Uh, with the shirts, y'all know the shirts, uh, any shirt you want, any headwear you want, the shirts are going for um, 15, all shirts are, and all the headwear is going for 10 for the month of January and shit like that. But we speaking on the 22nd. Any question y'all got, scream at me. Also, listen, listen to this goddamn music that y'all hear in the background. It's not just music I find online. It's real artists with real fucking projects that are, you know what I'm saying, trying to promote themselves. Listen to that shit. Get down in the comment section. Let it be known how the fuck you feel. Most of the time, they'll be in the comment section so you can tell them personally what the fuck they need to do or how you like their music and shit like that. If you're an artist that's trying to get some real exposure with real people, not that Instagram sponsor bullshit, hit me up. But don't hit me up until you're ready to make a transaction. Prices start at $200, go up to $2,000, depending on what you want to do, whatever like that. But do not hit me up until you're ready to go to work. I'm not... I don't, I, I don't have no time to play. I'm trying to sue these fucking folks. Get back to the video. I'll see y'all in a minute. Love. They probably don't even understand how the fuck Harvey Weinstein got caught up in this shit. Harvey Weinstein, while this R. Kelly shit is going on, Harvey Weinstein is getting the fuck off. As they're throwing another one of us on the grill, Bill Cosby, Morgan Freeman, Steve Harvey, as they're throwing another one of us on the grill, they're pulling their people out. I'm crazy. I'm insane, right? That's insane. Go look up what the fuck just happened with Harvey Weinstein. Like Tariq Nasheed said, seems like a fucking smoke screen was just thrown on our motherfucking face. Charlemagne. I'm going to start with Charlemagne. Because... At this point in time, we should understand, like, this is bullshit. We've known about this shit for 20 years. Why now? Kind of make you think that they just got us at their disposal. They can just fuck us up at any fucking moment. Anytime they need a fucking distraction, a smoke screen, they can just throw us out there. Bam. Big Joker, cut that bitch. Harvey Weinstein, fuck that nigga. I got the motherfucking Ace of Spades, nigga. R. Kelly, nigga. On your ass, nigga. Roll. As we, as we look at this shit, we understand that we're disposable as, as, as musicians, as rappers, we're supposed to die. As niggas in the street, we're supposed to die. As law-abiding citizens that are just trying to give the police officer an ID, we're supposed to die. We're supposed to get accidentally killed. It's a nigga name. I want to bring this name up. I want to shed as much light on this situation as I possibly can because I really felt like this is some other shit that's going on right now. It's a nigga named Ed Buck. This is a motherfucker who funds Democratic uh, politicians. Two black men have died in his house within uh, like the last fucking week. Two men. He's not. He's not being implicated in any type of no wrongdoing at all. This is going on right now. And I, I felt like this was very important to speak on. Because we, I'm trying to show the masses. When I say the masses, I mean our black women. Charlemagne is not a black man. When he went on Lifetime and helped these people, it was understood that Charlemagne is a fucking plant. He is a fucking plant. He is not no fucking man. When niggas roll for Charlemagne and shit like that because we seen a hoe was trying to take him down just by words. Just by words. That's my only issue. If you got evidence on the motherfucker, do your thing. My issue is niggas being thrown the fuck away and destroyed over words. That bothers me. And it's only us. We're the only ones that are being fucked over. Not with, not with, like Harvey Weinstein had all, like, you know what I'm saying? Recorded shit, all that kind of shit like that. Just like uh, Donald Sterling recorded shit. With us, we're having to deal with accounts in a motherfucking mind. 
Yeah, I remember. How well do you remember? When's the last time you had a drink? Are you on any medication? None of these questions are asked. We'll take you as you are. Because to, to destroy a black man, it doesn't take that much. All we need is an idea. This is The conspiracy charge was made for the black man, wasn't it? When Charlemagne went in that motherfucker and showed who he stood... My nigga, listen. Listen. Young Jock is no longer a man because he showed that his manhood could be, could be bought. His manhood could be bought. For money, for $250,000, he will go outside in the dress. For... 500,000, he'll do his hair like a bitch. For 20, uh, 250,000 again, now he'll do his hair like a, another bitch. He's no longer a man. When your manhood can be bought, you're not a fucking man, you're a prostitute. That goes both fucking ways. Nigga, don't look at you, can't stand next to a motherfucker like Denzel Washington. That's all man. Idris Alba. I'm giving you examples that you know about. Real men that stood there. Dave Chappelle. Real men that stand for something. And this is why I watch the people that I admire. Uh, the people that I call a celebrity. When we talk about music, this is why I listen to local artists like uh, Kim Bada and, and Prince Castro. Prince Castro, uh, local artist, uh, Brooklyn native, you know what I'm saying? He was a crip nigga back in the day and shit like that. The music that nigga made, he got a song out right now called Game of Thrones. This is the type of music that empowers nigga and it lets you know this type of shit that these niggas got going on is not in everybody. Not every, every person you think is in the industry and shit like that is not on this faggot shit. Everybody integrity can't be bought. We talking about Charlemagne, my nigga, like, do you not understand how we roll for you? Niggas roll for you, dog. When that hoe try to destroy you with some fucking words and you come in this motherfucker knowing what we know, knowing that, nigga, you got a mind. You got a mind. You a thinker. So if we know that you a thinker and you still did that, that means that you with them, my nigga. And when I say them, I mean the motherfucking hand of white supremacy. We know that nothing as bitches, nothing as bitches are the right hand of white We understand this. They are the right hand of white supremacy. If you hand us over, if you aid them in destroying us, and the death and destruction of the black man, death and destruction is incarceration, anything that destroys us as a motherfucking man, as being the leader, as we're supposed to be. If you help them trip us up, you are the right hand of white supremacy. And as a motherfucking man, my nigga, you went on that goddamn show with the, with the other bitches that are destroying the goddamn uh, fucking black man. And you are, you're not no black man, my nigga, you're a fucking coon. I don't even fucking use that word, but that's what the fuck you are. Because you helping them. I was go help your boss. I was help you run them down. Yes, it did. Show sure did, sir. Yes, yeah. Uh, three of them girls. Yes, it did, sir. I seen them myself, sir. Yes, sir. I seen them. Yes, sir. You, you just want me to fetch you some water, sir? Yes, sir. Oh, Kelly gonna get in a whole heap of trouble. A whole heap of trouble. Ooh. When Massa get him, ooh, ooh. I, I's been a good boy. I know I'm gonna get me something good to eat with some with some butter on my biscuits. I was gonna cut a jig for Massa when I gets back, so he's be nice to me tonight. You just wanna fuck me in the ass tonight, Massa? I was already ready with the lube, Massa. With this whole cast. Of motherfuckers who prostitute, who pimp their daughters out to this fucking man who like young girls. You had nothing to do with R. Kelly. Why the fuck would they call you? As a thinking man. 
Why in the fuck did they call you? Why they ain't call Ebro? Cause Ebro ain't black enough. We need a pure blood with a fucking platform that means something to this culture so we can turn everybody onto him and you help them fucking folks. When the motherfucker was just at your goddamn neck. And it took us to get you out that shit. It took us to have you to where you still got your fucking job, nigga. How that feel though, dog? Went on that bitch and worked for the devil. And then thought you were going, uh, uh, yeah, nobody helping the black girls. You thought you were going to get the, the, the black holes on your side and shit like that? As if you don't have a, a, a black wife. As if you don't know they flip like this. By the moment. They don't respect the gay niggas. They don't respect them. They just hang with them. They don't respect. They respect a man, nigga. They respect a man. Not the motherfucker in the salon with them talking. Ooh, oh, mm. No, he didn't. I seen him down there with motherfucking. He was driving a car. Yes, he was, though. Hmm. Yes, he was. That, that's your rock. They gonna like me because I'm in here with them. Let me tell you something about, you know what I'm saying? Tell you something about hoes, dog. As a businessman, we understand that the biggest consumer in the United States it is women, but the easiest consumer is black women. It's not hard to sell them shit. You can easily sell shit to them. So you're not wrong for going at them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to get them on my side, but it's a way that you do it. And because you don't have no nuts, you know what I'm saying? You wouldn't know how to do that. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this right now to y'all, dog. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, and off this shit. after Because I, I ain't know this nigga would like this. I gave this nigga the benefit of the doubt. But I'm going to go ahead and um, use this as a, a time stamp. Charlemagne's wife is either gone cheat or has been cheating for a while. Watch what I tell you. Watch watch what I tell you about they, about they shit. About they marriage. This nigga just showed a whole nother side, dog. I, I I had to see the video for myself. Like, are you fucking for real, dog? But he's a pie piper, and, and, and he's still taking girls out the village. When you have accusations, they have tweets of you. You not know, like, dog, you are the fucking epitome of a fucking snake. This is what you're doing... You niggas are two peas in a pod. If he's Peter, you're paying. Y'all are like, what the fuck? Jay-Z didn't come out. If Foxy Brown, if, if Jay-Z was fucking Foxy Brown and shit, Jay-Z ain't come out and say nothing about R. Kelly. You don't think they would have loved to have him? And when the hidden hand get into something, money ain't no issue. It's a matter of integrity. Watch niggas like this, dog. This is why it's so difficult to put your trust in the nigga, man. Because you look at the nigga, man, you're like, yeah, man, you stand for something. You got a mind. And you forget. Not everybody use their mind. Just because they got a mind don't mean that it's all love. Just because they conscious doesn't mean it's all love. The devil knew the Bible just as well as... You know what I'm saying? How are you using that? So as a snake, you thought you going to... Uh, you ain't got too much longer, my nigga, because you're not doing right. You're not doing right. If you felt this strongly about that subject, hey, my nigga, go and confess about your shit, dog. 
Go on here, let it be clear. No, I'm gonna get this off my chest. I was young. I, I fucked up. Go on here, put your shit, put your dirty laundry out there what, I, as you trying to air another nigga shit. Because this is how niggas is, in general. Nigga have a worse situation than you do, but point and talk about, I'm trying, a nigga won't have no fucking car, but talk about how your car barely running and shit like that as you drive by. Nigga won't have no house, nothing in his name, but talk about you living in a fucking apartment complex. Nigga will have fake joints on his feet and talk about how um, your baby mama gave you the money to get your J's. Can you blame me for living by the three S's? Everywhere you turn, if it ain't a rat, it's a snake. If it ain't a snake, it's a fucking wolf. And if it ain't a wolf, it's a goddamn pig. It's just... R. Kelly's daughter coming out making statements and shit like that. And it just shows... It shows the power of the hidden hand. It shows the, the inferiority... Uh, complex in the the, uh, the black human being's mind. Um, as DJ said, as we're watching this whole thing with R. Kelly unfold, as, as far as the situation goes, you need to be thinking about your daughters and whether or not you've instilled enough integrity, enough morality in your daughter to where if she was offered that opportunity to Oh, R. Kelly finna get me on, or somebody, anybody, Trey Songz, whoever the fuck it is, Usher, he finna get me on. Will they have enough mental fortitude and a north northward uh, point moral compass to where they can say no to the money, the allure of it all, the temptation. The fast life, the how sexy it is. Have you instilled enough inside of that child to where she can fight off what society is trying their damnedest to force on her? And after it's on her, it's in her. They want them to be on Instagram at 12 years old. They need them to care about their Snapchat account so much that they go through anxiety if they're away from their phone for a certain amount of time. If the child doesn't fight for their phone in class, then that's an issue. They need to create a new app to where it, it makes them that fucking addicted. I looked at, um, was it what was it uh brain programming what the fuck was it brain hacking it's called brain hacking where facebook instagram twitter these motherfuckers have um web programmers and cryptos and code writers that are constantly finding ways to make you feel less like you're less of a fucking human without your fucking phone Upgrades on the app, like to where, let me give you an example. On Instagram, um, they have an algorithm for every person and every personality. They know when it's best to reserve some of your likes. So in an hour, you may have got 12 likes, but they only show you three of them. They might hold the other guy down, you know what I'm saying? Eight, nine. They may hold the other nine of them for another three hours and then give you all those at one time. And you get a, oh. Because they can see as a neurologist. A neurologist. Hope I say I hope I say that. I hope I'm saying it right. They, they have neurologists who see how the brain lights up. Just like when you hit the bag, pop a pill, eat sugar. They can see how the brain lights up. 
How is that not warfare? That's not warfare? And companies are doing this, not governments. Companies. But if we looked at companies as if they were governments. I, mean, I don't want to go too far. But his daughter, his uh, R. Kelly's daughter spoke out and it just shows how power, like, I'm the reason why, like, bitch, you could be living like these fucking savages in Chicago. I'm the reason, I don't give a fuck, dog, it's serial killers. It's serial killers who children, fuck that, fuck that. If I don't like the motherfucker who is responsible for me being able to live so much higher than everyone else, I just won't speak about it. You will never find a fucking tape where I'm disparaging, saying anything disparaging about the one who's responsible for not not me just being here because you don't get no reward for just having a child. That's what that's wrong with hoes. They think that they just I'm a queen because I got a child. What the fuck? A nigga's not, I'm not a king because I took a shit. That's, that's a normal body function. You eat, you got to take a shit. What the fuck? But you're living above everyone else. And you will steal? Somebody can get you to talk down on your father? And that also comes from shit. As you're out here working... You can't be around them kids. They can't really know to love you like they love their mama. The mama there all the time. You just the nigga sending the money in. And as a child, you don't know nothing about no fucking money. All you know is, ah, uh, attention. And that's why I asked the question, what's better? The father that has been in Iraq since the child was born, but take care of the family, the, the family's taken care of financially, or the father who doesn't have no money, no job, no nothing, but is there every day with that child. Gotta pick one of them. Which one is better? But whichever one you pick, what we know is that that hidden hand is always, it always, with us, it always come out to be the strongest. Always comes out to be the strongest. Because the only time you can get us to come together is if you tell us we're tearing somebody else down, we'll all be with it then. But if you want us all to come together to make peace and, and we ain't with it, we'll find a million reasons why we can't do that shit. But if you got somebody for us to talk about and, and fucking destroy, we with it. Tell us all to come together and be or something and see how many fucking excuses you get, though. You a nothing-ass bitch. Whatever the fuck R. Kelly's daughter name is, you a nothing-ass hoe. Swear to God. The Big Facts Podcast. I am A.O. Conseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation. Make sure you hit that PayPal. January 22nd. I'm waiting to hear from y'all. Love.